everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope that um, your life is blessing you with wonderful, wonderful things. If not, I hope that you begin to see wonderful things and all of those grand, grand things. Um, so today, <clears throat> I wanted to do a reading for uh, Tammy Daybell. Um, you know, and the energy around her death, kind of what happened, um, and then after this video, I want to make, um, one more regarding Tylee and JJ. I've gotten some intuitive visions and I just want to kind of bring them out because I think someone will be able to pick up on it or somebody can, I don't know a whole, whole lot about, um, their past or anything, but I just wanted to kind of bring that out and talk about it. So the first card that I got was the three of cups, which the Three of Cups is, you know, friendship, community, happiness. Um, it can also be gossip, parties, celebrations, stuff like that. Um, and then the Magician is right beside it. The, 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 the Magician is willpower, desire, creation, um, and manifestation. So, let's see if we can connect. And then it comes to the Eight of Swords, which is imprisonment, powerlessness, um, manifestation, I mean, powerless powerlessness, and self-victimization. So, what I see here from the first three cards is, you know, community, gossip, friendship. So, friendship, the magician, you know, Basically, maybe receiving advice um, that they have to manifest what they want, but they are imprisoned because of the thoughts of the Queen of Swords. And I think this is regards to Tammy, and this Queen of Swords is reversed. And reversed is a cold-hearted woman, cruel, and bitterness. So, if we line up these four cards like they were obviously but <laughs> reading all four of them together I see that there was that he he basically said or someone told him either that that's be the community gossip friendship so friendship told him that if he wanted to manifest and receive the power, desire, <clears throat> and be able to create what he wanted, the only way he was going to do that was to un... because of the negative thoughts that he had of the Queen of the Swords or the negative thoughts they had of the Queen of Swords. So, I guess this would be vindicative of Julie Rowe, which is who I think is... In the friendship she told him the only way he was gonna become the magician the only way he was gonna get his full power his you know his creation um, what is it they get to a thousand you know they didn't have to wear clothes was to unchain himself because this was <clears throat> because of her not being dead already was causing him to think cruelly and bitterly or, interesting, or you could look at this two ways. He was told that she felt that he was the magician. She was crowded by negative thoughts. And she was cold-hearted and, you know, cruel and bitter. She didn't want to manifest what they wanted. So, now we go to the tower. 
Um, okay. So if the, he didn't unchain himself, right, from his wife, the Queen of Swords reversed, right, then he was going to have the tower. They wanted, what was wanted was the sudden upheaval. Um, he was going to lose his pride. He wasn't going to have any pride. It was just going to be a disaster if he didn't get rid himself of the bondage that he had with his wife, which put him in the Two of Swords, which is in a, basically put him in a place where he had um, no other choice. He had difficult choices, indecision, stalemate. That's what this is. Basically, her visions, because I feel like Julie Rowe is, I, I'll talk more about her after this. Anyway, um, put him in the Two of Swords, <clears throat> and probably, you know, Lori too. I'm not going to, but this isn't about Lori right now. Um, so put him into the Two of Swords, and made him feel like if he didn't, rid himself of his wife that he wasn't going to get the nine of pentacles. He wasn't going to get the fruit of his labor. He wasn't going to get the independence that he wanted. He wasn't going to get the rewards that he wanted. And, you know, this could also be, again, um, it's usually an independent woman. So... I think that's Julie telling him he wasn't going to get the rewards. He wasn't going to get, they weren't going to accomplish what they needed to accomplish if he didn't hurry up and rid himself because it was coming, right? Which is the Empress reverse. What's coming? What, what had to happen for him to get that? For him to get the fruit of his labor? The independence that he wanted and the rewards that he wanted was for the empress reversed was to take out the mother to take out you know his wife the empress which the empress reversed you know it's dependence so it depended on her being gone her emptiness the um Empress reversed is dependence, smothering, like a smothering mother even. Um, and emptiness, you know, emptying out your feelings, yada, yada, yada. Emptying out your pain, yada, yada, yada. So, um, so that that is the only way that they were going to receive what they wanted, right? And then the Six of Wands, which is the victory. This That is the only way. Her being gone, the Empress being gone, is the only way they were going to receive the Six of Wands, which is victory, success, pride, reward, right? Again, reward. Um, the reward, I'm assuming, would be the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is uh, the legacy, inheritance, um, culmination. So he wasn't going to get what he deserved. He wasn't going to get to lead, basically. He wasn't going to get to take the lead if he didn't get, basically it all rode on him exiling his wife, right? So, Nine of Wands reversed. Um... And this is culmination. This is the culmination of events. What would happen after the events took place. So this, to me, is the events taking place, which is the Nine of Wands reversed. And this is defending your corner. You got it. Um, defending your corner, ready to battle, ready to strike down. But the reverse of this is exhaustion, fatigue, reaching burnout. And... That is what I think. I think that they took her energy away from her. Her ability to fight back. She was exhausted. And he just dumped the responsibility that he had with her and his family and everything. He just ten of wands reversed it. And this is the inability to delegate and lack of priorities. He couldn't... So, he wasn't... A, interesting... 
So he had nobody. He couldn't let anybody else do it. He had to do it in order to release himself from the burden of the cruel bitterness, cold heartedness of the Queen of Wands reverse. I mean, Queen of Swords reverse. You know, and that's you know thoughts in the negative, but. I don't think Tammy was the Queen of Swords reversed. I think that that was what she was shaped. That was created by possibly his friendship. Now, I think more so, I don't think that Alex Cox killed Tammy or even helped kill Tammy. I don't think that. Um, a lot of people do. I don't see that personally, but I could be wrong. Um, <sighs> trying to say it in a way. By the way, these this is not fact. This is only um, my opinion. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Um, yeah. So, this is for educational purposes only that we are just talking you know I'm just here with some cards and a little bit of intuitive ability so that is all I can say um I believe that Julie Rowe is the reason for a lot of things that have gone on I believe that um, she is not the light worker that she's portraying herself to be. And she's not of God as in who she's working for or what she's working toward. She is, you know, the type of person she said her set, like you can see it in her eyes. If you watch her videos, when she is upset about something, there is this evilness that shows. Like, it's like her mask slipping off. And you really see the evilness in her. And I think that it is appalling that you claiming to be a worker of God are, number one... Encouraging people to sell their homes that they need, that their family's going to need in the future. That they need to just, you know, give it all to charity. They got to give it all to what? Your charity that is under, I don't remember what it is, but it's not non-profit. It's the one where you can make a profit. So... She's getting these people to donate to her, essentially. She has 60 safe houses. She has been taking things from people, hard-earned things, and convincing them that if they want to be, you know, in, if they want all these great things, if they want to raise their frequency, you know, all this crap, that they have to give up everything. I understand. We don't need to be selfish. We don't need as much as we have. But one thing that I know is not right is her encouraging people to give everything that they have. And doing it in ways that are of benefit to her. And that's exactly what this was. And it's exactly what's going on. And I think that Lori and her were close. At one time, I think they were. Now, if they are now, I don't know. But I think that Chai didn't give her, this is just what I pick up on. You know, she said about the book thing, but I don't even think it was about the book. I think that she helped him come up with what exactly was going to happen. Because remember, she saw it in a car wreck. Um, I think she helped provide him, possibly, with the tools necessary to make it seem like it wasn't murder, maybe. Um, allegedly. Um, 
And I think that he was supposed to give her some of that money. Like a portion of it he was supposed to put into the charity. You know, because I think she was, she's was she been the leader. And I think Chad wanted to take that leadership position from her. Or they were supposed to lead together. Because let me tell you one thing. It is unethical, okay, for any person who can see that type of thing. If you see somebody dying, you don't freaking discuss it with their husband. If that's really what you see, okay? That's number one. That is unethical, and it's one of the moral things that you don't do. You're not supposed to talk about death, and you're not supposed, if, especially with like tarot, if you see someone who is alive, and you see in their cars that they're going to die, you are morally not, not supposed to tell them, because you breathe that, you manifest that, basically. You're speaking it into existence by even stating it. Okay, <clears throat> number two, um, she said that she talked to Chad about three weeks before and he seemed very irate and he said that his plan wasn't able to go forth until Tammy was dead. Well, you basically just told me that you seen something was wrong and you failed to notify your friend that her husband wanted her to be dead. And you knew because you had said prior to that. I got your mark, Julie. I just want to tell you. Um, you said prior to that. That you were told not to trust anything that Chad said. That he was going to he was getting mixed messages from the dark side. And that you were told not to trust anything that he said. And that was before you got told that about Tammy. So explain to me why you didn't help your friend or why you didn't warn your friend or why you didn't tell the cops because you know you have all this grand vision. Why didn't you see what was going to happen to your friend and stop it from happening? That's number one. Number two, let's talk about Chad's daughter. Okay. So the day or either it was the day or the day after her mother died. She's behind the news crew, like, sticking out her tongue, being joking, having a good old time. And her mother died. My mother died in May, and I didn't laugh again for four months, let alone the day after. I was completely destroyed. <laughs> and she wasn't. Because there's no way she could have acted how she acted. Like, there wasn't a care in the world for her. And I know that's sad to say, but I call it like I see it, and I have to say it how it is. And there was not concern for her mother. And I don't know why, and I don't know exactly what's going on in Chad's family. But his daughter, there's something about her, too, that comes off to me weird. It is weird that you were able to be just nonchalant about your mother suddenly dying. I'm not talking about she was in the hospital like mine. It's just a sudden occurrence. You just find her dead. And you are able to just, uh, I don't know. I'm just getting a little heated about that. But she, that's not how a grieving daughter acts. Julie is not a good person. I pick up on her energy. I can see what she's what she's done, kind of. I can't really see it all, but I see what she's working with. And I just want as many people to understand she preys on people that are going through, like, spiritual discord like you're trying to find your you're you're trying to find the spirit she she wants people who are going